loud and proud for sure. Yes, it's awesome to see. And one of the first events I actually uh, commentated for, Nathan Chris was one of my first people I interviewed, and he like ripped the mic out of my hand, had so much energy, he was ready to go and win. I really, he's a, he's a genuinely awesome, nice guy, a solid duelist, and I can't wait to see what his hero deck is going to do. Hey, Clearly, he learned Amanda something, right? I mean, yeah, using cards like Mass no Chain, Mass Hero Dark Law is still right? quite the powerful card against a wide so, variety uh, of decks. Once, yeah, the Dark Law, one of those really powerful forces that the hero deck has when it is able to go first. But I think with their tools in the extract now, it's so strong at being able to go second. It just has every single punch that you can do. It does so much damage. Do you think he wants to go first, or do you think he's focusing on those more damage-oriented strategies? It's tough. It's kind of cool. So with Mass Chain, it could be good at going first, also because you get that Dark Law, but it also helps you go for damage if you're going second. So we'll have to see who's going to go first. It is game number one here in top 64 of our North American World Championship qualifier. We are near a few rounds from finding out who the other four representatives are going to be at the World Championship. That's pretty good. All right. That's a very high roll of 10. And okay. another 10. Matches it. Let's go. I guess we go to the casino. Three. Oh, that's a three. Will he roll snake? I believe. Six. Six. Oh, almost. Looks like Bruce is going to opt to go first. Definitely what he wants. I mean, if you're playing this Runic for Hire spread, you want to start establishing your for Hire monsters in combination with your Runic okay. monsters to really establish a board. And it looks like he's going to start with okay. Runic, Runic Destruction. destruction. Yep. Jinx. Be able to <laughs> oh. <laughs> Solid. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Summons Hugin. Hugin's going to be able effects? to okay. allow him to discard a card from okay. his hand. Can discard the main deck copy of Evenly Matched. Yeah, that is the cool part of the Runic strategy. You have those cards that are mainly only there for going second, but you're able to use them as part of your tools to be able to discard for Hugin, able to add that Runic Fountain here. Not really a waste of a card at all. <laughs> really, really top? cool. Yeah, it really shows the versatility in your deck building and how you can include cards that, yeah, you normally like you'd be useless going second, but you get that okay. value. Ooh, Runic Tip is going to be next. Let's see if he decides to add... I imagine just one that he can yeah, burn. Absolutely. That looks like Runic Slumber. Banishing yep. one. Okay. Banishes one off the top of Nathan's deck. Do you think the banishing off the top of the deck could yes, hurt the hero deck? Potentially. I mean, hitting that's pretty good. Yeah, hitting the Ferris is already kind of strong, limiting to maybe two more copies. But more oh, so than the me. Ferris, if you hit Something the Increase, if you cut? get rid of all copies uh, of Increase, you cut off Slumber. the engine quite okay. hard. Oh, we'll have to see if he's going to go for it. And it also it gives him information. Uh, he now knows. I mean, okay. if, he didn't know, hit. if he didn't know from the Miracle Fusion sleeves, he now knows his opponent is on a hero strategy. What does Slumber do? Uh, slumber, uh, whatever I target, can't be destroyed by card effects once per turn, uh, and uh, that monster can't attack. Okay. Yep. Just explaining the Slumber, protects from the first time it would be destroyed, and can't attack for us to turn. Special blue. Okay. okay. And a special summon yep. Sprite blue since he has a level two monster on the field, thanks to Hugin. This is the first Sprite match we've commentated, I believe, this weekend. Yeah, we've given all the opportunities to <laughs> our other casters here, but I'm excited to see a Sprite blue. I've done pretty well with this deck myself. Maybe not as good as Bruce might end up doing this <laughs> tournament, but he's going to have to show it up here. This is a very strong start for him. He has access to the full Runic package, including Runic Tip, go being able to set up okay. potentially three Runic cards in the graveyard, being Attack? able to draw three yeah. cards off the Runic Fountain, as well as opening with Sprite blue, getting access to Jet, getting that start starter, okay. so that he's able to play around any tools that Nathaniel will be able to use. Likely going for Sprite Carrot instead of Sprite Red, being able to play around fountain. something okay. along the lines of evenly match, which can be really Runic strong Slumber, against the Hugin. Runic strategy. Okay. Yep. Uh, Banish top three. And we yep. see the Jet at that starter, as you mentioned. The Runic Fountain is activated. Destruction is going to target Hugin, yeah. and he has three, and it's going to resolve. So he's going to put three Runic spells uh, to the bottom and then draw three cards. Did you cut? Take, take I did not cut. On the bottom. He didn't cut. He's going to make sure to shuffle the rest of the deck here after the Sprite starter was added. Good call, good call. Yeah, this is an excellent start here for yep. Bruce. You see him playing quickly. Getting three more cards here. Bruce has not normal summon yet. He's looking for a copy of Rex or Fossil Dig just to get access to it. It looks like he's doing a Dompa. Yeah. Getting That's all. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to do this all day. I got you now. I got you on lockdown. I'm, I'm going to look for the keywords and just jump in there. <laughs> I'm going to be ruined. <laughs> and you had a uh, okay. off of that, right? That's correct. And now, yeah, he does still have that normal summon, as you mentioned. We'll see where he goes next with this. There's a lot of different routes he can take. I imagine he is going to just commit the Dompa here. It looks like he's considering it as well. If you commit the Dompa, you can go into something along the lines of Sprite Sprint, Playing being able to send friends. the Rex to the graveyard, okay. and then you can use the Rex to bring back the Dompa from Sprint the grave, and you just uh, okay. climb a little bit more. Or you're trying to set up uh, the Donner. Let's see if that is the case. He does go into that Sprite Sprint, as you mentioned. Does send the, send the Rex. Rex. Okay. So we're seeing all we're three axes of Absolutely. his deck going. Normal summon Dompa. Okay. On right now, you're going to normal summon Link that two. Dompa. I'm going to go into another Link monster here. Maybe oh. that Donner. He's contemplating his options here. 
Oh, he found the Donner. It's a Donner. There's Donner for hire. Yeah. All these monsters for hire are quite strong. Donner, not only do you need like kind of a generic link you can use in other decks to take care of face-up cards, uh, it also has the effect <laughs> of special Sorry. summon a fur hire monster if you happen to be using fur hire Donner as well. Donner effect tripping sprite sprint. Okay. Yep, there it is. He's going to be able to swap out the sprint for a fur hire monster in the grave. I know it pops, right? Uh, the other the other effect is going to summon one for hire, and if I tributed a link, oh, okay. I can summon an additional such monster. I think is how it's worded. Okay, you're good. Okay, want to summon so Dampa? So you get to summon two and monsters summon for hire. This is ideal. This is essentially the main choke Rex point Rex of the for hire strategy. Okay. You're able to use Rex now to add a for hire spell. See if he gets mayhem. And now he also has Dampa three monsters Rex with different types to be able to go into right? Fulgo. No, no. Fulgo, quite uh, the card, and let him draw three cards. Uh, Dampa and Rex from Grave. Oh, I'm not this turn, Dampa. particularly. Yeah, during the opponent's yeah, turn. Yeah. Yeah. That is one of the cool Typically, parts of uh, so when the For Hire deck okay. is interrupted, maybe something along oh. the lines of Effect Veiler or Ash Blossom. You get to hit them with a Mannequin Cat, uh, bring a monster to their side of the field, and then you can destroy that monster, trigger the Fulgo for the draw three on your first turn. Oh, that is cool. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen here, but that's something really to keep an eye out for if you are playing this Runic For Hire deck. I think he's already drawn three cards this turn. Maybe it's Probably good enough. enough. Yeah. He'll draw six during his opponent's next turn. That's going to be fine. Yeah, that's, that's why I talk about how entertaining the for hire deck is. You're already drawing three cards, and there's still so. more cards to draw. Yeah. It looks like I he's going to grab for Rookie hire. for Hire. Off of That'll let him swap yeah. out a for hire monster, essentially. Yeah, well, he's going to be able to probably access Beat here to get the fall to his hand. Uh, yes, yes, you may. It's kind of like a Tier Elements Grief, sort of. Okay. You're yeah, like an uh, emergency teleport type effect. Um, mm -hmm. At some cost. We'll have to see if he decides to use that right now. I wonder if Nathaniel's uh, contemplating perhaps a Nibiru from his hand, now that there's been this many summons. That could be the case. We have not seen a gigantic sprite summon? yet. He is still able okay. to. Is that Flashing Fire? That looks like Flashing Fire, yeah. He's going to be able to summon another monster here, going for another Some copy of Higgin. Okay. I wonder if he wants to activate its effect again. It looks like he will. He's going to try to draw even more <laughs> cards by with the second copy of Fountain. Wait, we've got to keep our counter going. So far, he's drawn three no. extra cards. Yes, three cards okay. so far. You're good. That's one Runic card in the graveyard as well. Going to add another copy of Runic Fountain. The last copy of Runic Fountain is now semi-limited. So the cool thing is, even if it is semi-limited, once he activates his fountain on top of the new fountain, he is able to... Activate for hire, tributing Rex. Okay. Yep, he's going to tribute the Rex here, but let's say he gets rid of the Hugin there, right. makes space yep, in the extra monster zone, he can use another, okay. uh, like his last copy, or whichever name he hasn't yeah. used yet mm -hmm. of the Runic cards, to summon is it Jerry to add back the other fountain from the graveyard. Oh, yes, yeah, so you can Link still three. keep recycling those fountains. So now he summons the beat for hire, now he's going to special summon Fargo. Uh, well, that's going to be locking up the extra monster zone, unfortunately. Not going to go for uh, too many draws this turn. Okay. You know, because, you know, three is so little. It it is. But now, since he summoned a monster okay. for hire, Beat is going to be able to add a monster for hire from his deck to the hand. Fall goes so strong. Beat's going to add Rex to my hand. Rex okay. for the follow up. And then Fogo is going to summon Rafale. Yep, Rafale okay. able to use that Rex in hand as well to, for its effect to negate a monster effect. Which is really powerful. It also has the awesome the effect. Effects? He's going to be able to okay. activate the top three cards of the deck since he has three monsters for hire on the field deck, and add, add one, one to his hand. hand. Yeah, any okay. card. Any card. It's so crazy. Why can that card do that? <laughs> I'm Why is it just now good? <laughs> I'm going to grab Runic Tip. Oh, Another yeah. copy of Runic wow. Tip. It does have to be other for hires. I do believe it doesn't count itself. Oh, it doesn't count itself. Okay. Other monsters for hire. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty good, man. I think so. <laughs> yeah, every time you read that card, you're like, this is a good card. That's, a, that's pretty that's, all right. <laughs> that's pretty good, man. Why am I not doing that? <laughs> so now he's going to, looks like he's thinking about using Beats Effect to spell summon a monster for hire from his hand. Going to yep. summon that Rex that he added to the hand. All the small for monsters for hire have that effect that they can special summon a for hire monster from hand, and most of them do. And then you get to trigger the effect of when you summon that monster for hire, usually. Link two. Okay. Now, where do you think he's going to go from here? Where do you think he wants to I end? Think. Looks like IP Mascarina. It's IP. There yep. is the IP Mascarina. He still hasn't locked himself into twos. There's a Spike Fantastic. Starter hand. Oh, he's using Turn one of the Rexes Dampa. right now. Somebody back the Dampa. Okay. Yeah, he hasn't used Rex this whole time. He just used that Donner to bring them both back, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, if he did use Rex, it would be banished already. So yeah, there goes Dampa. He looks like I'm he's going to be setting the Sprite Starter. 
not even having to use Gigantic this turn, already opening all the access. Definitely a solid right. hand for Bruce here. You know that That's three to... different Runic cards in his hand. Okay. Yep, and he'll be able to activate them from yeah, his hand during his opponent's turn, thanks to Runic Fountain. Oh, that's a Fusion mm -hmm. Destiny to draw oh, on for turn. Right. Destiny Hero Phoenix Should Enforcer, please, off. I miss I'll you. Destroyer is so good. Ooh, Elementary Stratos. Is that a Starlight Rare? Of course it is. I'm going to activate Freezing <laughs> nice. Curses on your Stratos. To negate its effects and banish top three. Oh, there I is a Flashing Fire. Book. Oh, Book of Moon is trying Starting to protect Stratos? the Stratos. Oh. You're not going to be able to remove those top three because it will not successfully negate the effect of Stratos. But you'll still be able to use the effect of Ruining Fountain. If he so chooses to. Oh, I think he'll choose to. I think. I don't know. There's okay. only two in there right now. He might want to go for all three. <laughs> That's for sure. You just wait. Yeah, wait till you get the next activation. That's good. Already, Stratos resolves. Mm -hmm. Important to note that here, though, the Stratos is kind of locking up his zones here, being summoned in the middle. Okay, Maybe he would have wanted to keep it in the corner, sure. Fountain to just in case three. the Link monsters uh, might matter okay. here. I doubt it does. Mm. It looks like he does have three series. Oh, there is three. Fountain. And he added the Vision Hero Faris. Faris is pretty cool. It's like an extender. You can spell summon and then equip the increase from the deck. Then you can spell summon in the increase, and you get those two hero ahead. monsters on the board to start unlocking the hero Link monsters five, from the extra five. deck. Okay. Does increase, in fact, tribute? So it would be able to use the Stratos that's face down? Um, I think so, yeah, right? right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, should be able to. Easy. Yeah. And he's going to discard the increase special summon Faris. I wonder if Bruce is just going to start firing runic cards to just try to get the hero cards out I of the deck. Increase? <laughs> yeah, so going into this tournament, I imagine hero is probably not a deck that's always on your radar. But you should always know, if you're entering any sort of tournament anywhere, the chances of someone out there playing heroes, it's 100%. There's at least one person out there using the deck. It's a fan favorite deck. And you can see Nathan made it all the way here to okay. top 64 with his deck. And oh. this is going to prompt a runic tip here from Bruce. Also, fair notice, if you're playing against someone from California, chances are significantly higher they're playing hero. <laughs> I don't know why, but <laughs> we really love heroes down here. I feel that same okay. thing with Dragon you know Link in Texas. Yeah, right. same kind yeah, of thing. And I banish one. So the Runic Tip's going to banish uh, yes, the top one. card of the deck. Miracle Fusion. Oh, no. That's what he adds. It's probably only one copy right. he plays, well, if I no had to guess. <laughs> and cause he has the Elmshiro Sunrise that can add it from the deck uh, to hand. That's fun. actually pretty huge uh, hit there. These Runic cards playing dividends here. That's fine. So Faris is going to be able to equip an increase from the deck. I have a quick effect on resolution. Okay. Oops, an increase is a quick effect as well from the Spell and Trap Card Zone, I believe. Magic, yeah, because effect, it, it, because, targeting because to Vision Hero Faris equips it not as a continuous spell, but as a continuous trap. Yeah, that's why you can use it. That's, that's so cool. One of the rare okay. occasions that that even exists. Summon? <laughs> Very yeah. rare. So he's going to banish the Rex for higher to use Spell Summon Raphael. Is Raphael a hard once per turn? I'm not certain. Uh, have you for, I think so. I think all the for yes. monsters for hire yeah. are. And you added flashing fire, right? That was accurate. So now he's okay. actually used a second copy of Rex. I think he wants to be able to use uh, the IP Masquerina as well. Once returned by name, yep. Okay. Uh, any trigger effects Before here? Before he uses a starter right. here. Uh, Dampa chain link one, Rafali chain link two, beat chain link three. So Dampa's going to be targeting. Dampa can pop a face up card since he's special to increase. summon a monster for hire. Yeah, he's going to be able to add a for monster for hire. He's special summon a monster for hire. cards of my deck equal to the number of other for hires I control, and I get to add one card. And, and Dampa add something off of that too. Yep. Right? Yep. Being able to use all three of these powerful effects okay. here, and the biggest thing uh, here, he has increase. three different monsters, uh, three different names of for hire or monsters for hire here. So he's going to be able to use Fulgo to draw three additional cards. Well, we knew this was coming. He's already drawn three from the Runic Fountain. Effect? Yep. Continuous trap. The only thing that's unfortunate here is uh, Bruce didn't really have an opportunity to chain this through the effect of increase because the timing of the effects would not have worked to be able to block the increase. And unfortunately, and increase, because it is now. a quick effect, because it is a trap card, mm -hmm. is going to be able to still use its effect here in chain. Bruce still with a lot of Thank options since he has that Runic Fountain up, and he can activate the Runic Quick Place from the hand. Does he have a copy of Runic Destruction, maybe? That would be really useful here. Looks like that might be what Flashing fire targeting the Ferris. Oh, no, flashing fire targeting the Ferris. It looks like... It's a negate, right? Oh, destroy? Destroy. Oh, okay, that droplets. works too. Oh, and there's a droplet as well. So we're just clearing as many bodies as possible. Oh, that's going to be really important here because it's going to cut off all of these effects, potentially. Leaving himself with oh, just the Fusion Destiny to try to pick it apart. Uh, the, the chain results. Oh, yeah, he said it was cool. Uh, you're good too? Yeah. Okay. Boom, so he's going to get Rafael uh, and IP. IP and the Rafali. Oh, uh, that, sure. he's leaving the Fulgo. Let him draw. All right, good to resolve chain. Yes. Uh, what's incre oh, increase is next. And then I think and he's going to search off of it. Rafali resolves down effect. Mm -hmm. And so Dampo does not. Fulgo just needs a monster to be destroyed uh, at all. 
Or does it need to be destroyed by oh, the effect of Dawn Or like by uh, a monster fine. for hire? It's just any card has to be destroyed by a battle or card effect. So, yeah, the chain's done. Uh, I'm just reading real quick. Increase good. is I considered a different monster once it changes location. Don't. Will it still be destroyed uh, by Dampa after? Starter. It doesn't look okay. like it. Oh, that's going to be missing that Fulgo then. This is a pretty no, strong chain for Nathaniel. Yeah, Things could have gone much worse for him. Yeah, I mean, he's really navigating uh, this, this horrifying yeah, board pretty well. And oh, he could have summoned he summons yeah, no, Carrot no. instead of Red. Oh, wait, or yeah, sorry, yeah, the other yeah, way around. Red instead of Carrot. No, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. It, yeah. yeah, I have Rex in hand. I always want to oh, call so Red yeah, Carrot because Red is orange. Okay. <laughs> 1,200. 1,200. It would have made sense, wouldn't it? It would have. And now he's going to be able to activate. I want to see Fusion Destiny. I want to see Destroy. I don't know if Destroy is going to be enough, but it might be. Oh, he gets the Vion now, so that's right. He's going to negate and destroy by uh, being able to send the IP Mascarena. IP Mascarena was negated by Forbidden Droplet. You might as well get rid of it and use it yes, this way. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's slide head shake. He knows how strong Fusion Destiny can be. Let's see what he decides to send. Is that a Malicious? It's going to probably be Malicious and Denier. <laughs> We're going to give him that as a... Yep. Yep, Malicious and Denier. Going to be able to summon or Destiny Hero, uh, Phoenix Enforcer. Yes, Hero Destroyer, yes, Phoenix Enforcer. Good. Starlight Rare, of course. Of course. I love this card. came out of Power Elements. So cool. Normally, when any other deck uh, uses Fusion Destiny, that is the end of their turn. Oh, they summon their monster, and they're done summoning for the turn. Mm -hmm. But sending Denier and Malicious, you are locked into Destiny Heroes. You can keep going for a while. Yep, just keep on going. They banish that Malicious to summon another one from the deck. I hope as you Fusion can. Destiny, when it's played in other oh, yeah. decks, kind of locks you out of playing the rest of your deck, but not really much of a hindrance here for the hero deck. Really yeah. locks you into just heroes, right? Uh, so you can still great. go into extra Absolutely. hero cross crusader. Can yes. keep bring back Destiny going. And you're hero. locked into dark heroes, correct? Dark heroes. Dark heroes. Yep. There you go. Yep. Slight limitation. It's a lot. At least in Bruce's case, he doesn't have his battle phase. <laughs> well, yes, he doesn't have his battle phase, but he still has a lot of cards in hand. I'll go ahead and go deny I think as long as he doesn't Married. lose all yep. of his life points right now, he can claw his way back into this game. And there is Denier being able to special summon himself because a hero monster is on the field. Yes, sir. He's yep. going to be able no, to use its effect to put the other Three malicious back into the deck. Or deck on top Who of that? says we only have two malicious? Malicious, that looks like it's going to be a third time to summon <laughs> malicious this turn. He's going to link away. He's really denying that <laughs> restriction. <laughs> he really did deny it. For Cross no, Crusader, unless you special summon back a Destiny Hero monster, then you contribute a Destiny Hero to add any hero from your deck to your hand. What does that normally grab here? You think Honest Neos? Good. I mm -hmm. think so. I mean, who knows? There's so many different mm -hmm. heroes you can grab, but I know Nathan knows exactly what he wants in the situation. As you said, he is a hero master. <laughs> I've normal, right? Yeah, yeah he has in fact normal. He started with Stratos. Yeah, oh, that was Destiny Hero Plasma. <laughs> oh, could this actually be? This could be so cool. I hope we get to sub it in. Or, sorry, I'll give him Mali Effect again. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but we're not wasting any time here. You know, just making sure if he's going back into his deck, he's just going to go straight into it. No need to continue shuffling back and forth. Destiny Hero Malicious coming on out yet again. Mm -hmm. Forbidden Droplet, a card that is kind of fallen out of favor, but still solid against a lot of matchups. Yeah, I think it's really only uh, bad against the Kashira deck because you're under those restrictions, but that really strong against everything uh, else, especially when you're so spell heavy. You can just chain it to the spells okay. you're already activating. So it doesn't really come with a cost lose. anymore. Yep, yep. Two, three, four, so five, he's going to be able to plasma, have Plasma and Destroyer? Attack. That's not too bad. The only thing is, like, the the Plasma is really, really maybe. good against monster heavy strategies. Runic has a lot of forms of spell destruction. True, and that fountain is still up. He's probably going to want to. Deal with the fountain. He has another copy of fountain in his hand, I believe, too. Yeah, this Phoenix Enforcer is going to have to do most fall. of the work right now. He's going to do all the heavy lifting. Crusader. Interesting. I think he's going to use a slumber to keep the red around. Running slumber target. Oh, he's so going to make sure the Cross Crusader can't, can't attack. attack. Okay, and I mill three. Yep, mastery. And this is the top three cards from the deck. Oh, goes in match. That's been a really strong card all weekend. Um, Daniel's for sure going first. That's probably his only copy of Liquid Soldier. I mean, with the Miracle Fusion gone, I think that's okay. Yeah. Maybe for the best. Well. Maybe for the best. Mm -hmm. He's at 12, you take 13. Mm -hmm. What's life? Uh, 55. Yeah, I don't even know how and many I'm Destiny heroes rank. Nathaniel that's has in his graveyard. Main phase two. The mm -hmm. attack regulation. So now he's going to main phase two. He's going to tribute off all his monsters for plasma. Activate plasma to take. Takes the fall and here. So say that again. Activate plasma to take. <laughs> say, say that <laughs> again. <laughs> I love that. Excuse She's me? like, wait, wait, what are you doing? Like, why are you taking my monster? Plasma it takes three tributes to special them to the field. While it's face up on the field, negates all the effects of your opponent's in monsters. Uh, you can target uh, one of your opponent's monsters and equip it and gain half the attack. Now he's going to use Destroyer Phoenix uh, Force effect to destroy one of his own cards to destroy a card on Bruce's side of the field. 
I imagine either itself or the Rafal. Pro probably just itself, right? I think so. These two. Yeah, Bruce can't chain once the cards are already selected. Otherwise, he would have wanted to summon maybe another a third copy to try to yep. protect it at the end. But it wouldn't have served him that far. The Phoenix Enforcer would just come back and try again next turn. But then he does have the second copy of Fountain, so maybe that was a play. The plasma would have stopped it, though. It has uh, the text that I'm looking or for. It, still, it doesn't activate. It does not does activate. It? Oh, yeah, it would have protected it. You're right. It doesn't activate. It would just <laughs> check <laughs> it at the resolution and vanish. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he has a third copy of Fountain in there. Standby. So, I don't think so. It has to be a little tight, especially if he's concluding some other cards that we don't typically see in the extra deck. Won't give them away just yet. Hmm. That keeps some surprise. Well, he around. broke that board. Like, that was fantastic. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, so, I mean, where, where are my hero cards? That's, <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Destroyer, Phoenix Enforcer coming back to the field. Uh, the phase? Thinking about position. Yeah. Going to go with Isn't defense? There? No. All right, Bruce is definitely looking for a copy of Flashing Fire or Freezing Curses here, or really both. He really wants both here. He has Runic account. Tip, I think, right? Or did he use uh, the tip no during response. his... Oh, and he did use the tip at the beginning of Nathaniel's turn. Yeah, we do see the Mayhem for Hire that he, we knew he had from last turn. It looks like a Runic Slumber is going to be activated now. Just trying to get some draws here, but it's not going to be really good enough uh, into the Phoenix Enforcer. Fountain's at too, right? <laughs> uh, okay, just double checking. Nathan is such a, he's a classic Yu Gi Oh player. I would do the same kind of thing. You know, just just having fun, happy to be here, trying to Special win it all with his heroes. He wants to go to the world championship with his favorite deck, and I have nothing but respect no for that. He's going to special summon Carrot from the hand since he has Sprite Red on the field, and now he's going to normal summon Rex for higher. No effect because of Plasma. Now he does have a good amount of level two bodies here, but what can they really do? If he doesn't have any of those runic spells, he might not be able to deal with his Destiny Hero Plasma. And he still has that Destroyer that will be looking to take out that runic fountain. Let's go, Plasma. Let's go, Plasma. Maybe you're looking to just find a monster that's big enough. So he's going to link two here. Going to go into Donner. Uh, thinking on Donner. Absolutely. Again, not being able to use its effects just yet. Nathaniel just double checking, oh. making sure. Looking David. for anything that he might miss here, just in case. Dr. Darn attributing itself. Too special, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. It's, Plasma is. Uh, on similar, field. Yeah, just on field. So this is able to go I'm ahead and be able to summon back some monsters. Solid. That's okay. I'm trying to familiarize myself. So, uh, Absolutely. You do want to be able to read all the cards you're not 100% familiar with. Just make sure you're not missing anything here. There's still a game two for sure. So he's going to bring back two monsters for a hire. It's going to be Dompa and Falgo. <laughs> Summon Dompa, Falgo. Yeah. Dompa, I love from Duel Links. Dompa, Beat, Wiz, that was my Duel Links deck when they first came out over there. It was so awesome. You get Duel Links still going strong to this day. Yeah, anyone that managed to play Duel Links at the time would be a lot more familiar with these cards. But in case you didn't, <laughs> these cards can easily catch you by surprise. Yes, definitely. Uh, I used Carrot and Rex. Okay. I had to make sure they were different. Okay. Wanted to make sure. Okay, making sure the summon of Donner was illegal. Destiny Hero Plasma. Destiny Hero Plasma. Let's go, Plasma. Yeah, Plasma is just really... <laughs> you're talking about the Phoenix Enforcer here, but uh, uh, right now, there's just nothing dealing with the Plasma. The Plasma is handling the whole situation by itself. He's backed up by that Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. He's Bruce is scrambling. Summon He's activating the slumber here. Here. Sure. And there's the Phoenix oh, Enforcer oh. going after the Running Fountain. Going to destroy the Rafa so he can have another equipment. I wonder. Oh, he's going to be going for the summon here. Uh, there's Jerry not going to be able to activate its effect, unfortunately, to have that Running Fountain back. And he doesn't have the battle phase, so he doesn't have any chance of ever attacking over Plasma. Let's go, heroes! <laughs> I'm wondering, how does Bruce get out of this situation? Is there even an out left at this point? It is tough. <laughs> He still has Rex Effect and Grave. But no, there's going to be said he's going to go, uh, go into the battle phase. Mm -hmm. Oh, you see the smile on Nathan's face. He's drawing for turn. I love those Miracle Fusion sleeves. They look beautiful. Yeah, especially when the deck is winning, right? <laughs> so now he's going to be able to use Plasma to equip a monster. Hey, Jerry. What's time? 
uh, entering battle. Going to start doing cleanup here. That's really all he needs to do, He's right? He's been doing cleanup. This ain't the start of cleanup. He's trying to finish cleaning up. Just, you know, pick apart the monsters piece by piece. There's still the uh, Rex in the graveyard to try to like put some more monsters on the field. But as long as he doesn't really have access to a big monster to go into the battle phase and clear the plasma. The Phoenix Enforcer is going to be answering everything here. Both copies of Runic Fountain are in the graveyard. There is the Jerry that normally adds it back. There's only ever really one in the extra deck that's already covered by the plasma here. Yeah, he's going to keep that Gary equipped for sure. You're not even gonna, maybe not even ever giving it back just to play around Pot of Avarice. It's so good to see Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer back in action. It's one of my favorite cards. Okay, yeah. it looks like Bruce is going to activate the Rex for Hire from his graveyard to special summon back a monster for Hire. That's fine. Nope, changed his mind. Yeah, I wonder if it's worth it at all at this point. I mean, he's just been summoning monsters just uh, to defend himself almost. I'll pop this in your yep. back row. Oh, he's going to just let him have the Jerry back. Uh, question. By battle. Mm -hmm. Jerry only trains when he's destroyed by destroy back artifacts like DPE Earth. while it's equipped. I don't believe it's monsters effect applies a spell. I don't think so, yeah. Okay. It doesn't apply while it's in your hand, I don't think. But I mean, it's a fusion okay. monster, so it wouldn't be in your hand. But yeah, it has to be in the monster zone for the monster effect. Really Going to take out the Mayhem for Hire. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Neither not realizing that, but kind of lucked out there. It's still okay. It's still okay. He's in complete wow, I, control. I didn't even that. <laughs> Bruce can draw to one card in hand. Just with the dump. Uh, is he going to concede? Is Plasma's effect to equip? Flashing fire to pop. Wants return. What? Oh, well, there's a flashing fire. Okay, that's maybe what he needed. He's going to be able to start using monster effects here. He's trying to chain uh, the Phoenix Enforcer to protect the cards in his the top of his deck. Going to get rid of the Plasma and the Dompa. But then he still has access to Rex. Maybe that can wow. start a uh, comeback play. That was like the card he needed to draw here. Bruce not out of it quite just yet. Both these decks so resilient. Oh, he looks like he's training the red now. Could be a bit of a mistake right? because Phoenix uh, no. doesn't target. Rex effects? That is uh, true. Sure. Target mayhem. Oh, to okay. Or add. To add to hand. So he's just going to add uh, the mayhem to hand. Okay. okay. So resolve backwards. Interesting choice to do it now. I mean, yeah, now he's Banish just. Top two. Uh, it does top not banish the top two because uh, it was destroyed by Phoenix Enforcer. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, yeah. you're right, you're right. Nathan knows. Probably familiar he with this. He clearly yeah. knows. He's here. He brought heroes to the NAWCQ. He knows. Yes. He's used to his opponents not knowing what he's doing, but he definitely knows what they're doing. Stand by me. But if he draws a monster here, it's over. Oh well, that's it's that's an any emergency. Of it's an emergency. We're gonna call for an elemental hero, and he's gonna be able to take game yeah, number one against one of the top yeah, meta decks yeah, yeah, with yeah, elemental yeah. heroes. Really well, hard. sorry, any heroes. It's Destiny heroes, elemental heroes, Vision heroes, all of them. Yes, really. heroes. Nathaniel Christmas is our hero. He is the one, the chosen one. We want to see him make it all the way. I would love to send our hero player to the World Championship, but he's now one game away from making it to top 32 and just a few more rounds after that from stamping his ticket to Japan. Fusion Destiny really proving why it was such uh, yeah. a formidable threat, even being on the Forbidden Limited list at some point. One of just the siding so threatening. It was one card hero. to defeat uh -huh. one of the strongest fields made by the For Hire strategy, drawing a, like six cards that, so. throughout really the turn in addition time? to its opening yeah. five. Really good, though, so not enough. Oh, man, oh, that that is just, just, yeah, Bruce crazy. went first and had it all. Like, that was the uh, <laughs> ideal opening for him. Maybe not like, the exact runic spells he wanted in his hand, alive, but I'm wow, so just there, beautiful for him to break it. <laughs> I was categorically not in there. <laughs> yeah, no, I gotta save the Fusion Destiny. It's so good. Oh, yeah. I saw one vanish, so I was like super not oh, worried man. about that. Oh, what an epic like, game. Oh, he's got the other one. Well, that was a long one, so they're gonna want to side deck as quickly as they can. But um, do you, yeah, going into the tournament, do you, you probably don't prepare for heroes, even though you might expect to face one or two. I don't know what you could really put in that might help crazy. against the oh, deck. Yeah. Not, probably yeah, not much. It's probably kind of one of an advantage of playing a like, rogue moves. strategy yeah, like heroes. Yeah. I mean, that's call. the thing, right? I think that's why heroes has consistently sure. not been that popular, because you don't ever really target heroes down. But just coincidentally, it gets hit by all the cards that are very popular against other decks. Droll and Lockbird, Nibiru. very strong. Nibiru, the primal being. The bestial monsters being able to cut off those cards in graveyard. Like malicious or time? something. Phoenix Enforcer. Oh, destroy, yeah. It looked like he was almost he kept his destroyer, Phoenix Enforcer, on the field as much as he could, except for like the one time. Probably just maybe a slightly concerned about the Beast Heals, even though probably not going to be in the Runic for Hire deck. Well, I mean, if you keep it around, then you can run into something like Kurikara. Yep, that's true, too. That would be devastating. Yeah, pick your poison on this one. <laughs> 
but they are side decking getting ready that is so exciting e emergency call one of my favorite cards of all time lets you add any element to hear from your deck to your hand like what year is it we saw an e emergency call and it's like oh that that's it i can't take it oh man so awesome I mean, e emergency call one of those cards that only gets better over time right it's the <laughs> amount of cards it can grab just keeps growing more and more elemental heroes so fantastic to see with these awesome Miracle Fusion sleeves. Okay, we got this. Take a deep breath. We got it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Multiplayer's both having fun. Yeah. yeah, they're excited to be here. They both make top 64 at the NAWCQ. Oh, like, this was the gold we can just to get here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to make it good. They're having fun. He's We're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! here. I'm, I'm, you know what the main I'm, part? I'm having fun and making friends. Yeah. Yeah. Even at such a stage like this, you're in the yes. top 64. The pressure is on. But at the end of the day, you want to be sure you're enjoying the game. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. People always ask hey, me all the time, like, oh, you know, what's the difference? Like, when you win, like, well, how do you do it? How do I make it that way? I'm, I have fun. If I'm not having fun, I'm not doing well. But the more you can enjoy the game and actually have fun and joke around with your friends, like, that's where you get the beauty of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Looks like these players are getting ready here. They're shuffled up. Just, just about to draw their hands. Oh, they're ready to go. This bumps. And good luck before game number two here of our top 64 match. We got heroes against Runic for Hire. Maybe right. only one yep. game away yep. from moving away into the top 32, one step closer to the World Championship, but Bruce is not going to let it go Grab easily. Curses. Starting off with Runic Tip yeah, into right. Freezing one. Curses. Yes. He understands the matchup now. There's one copy of Stratos gone. Still a few Wait. more to go. <laughs> You're good. Freezing Curses to summon. Freezing Curses yeah. is going to be activated to special summon a Runic monster from the extra deck. Going to go for Hugin. Hugin effects? Yeah. I wonder when you're playing against awesome. the... Hero strategy. Do you expect to see any interruptions on your first turn, or they're usually just trying to deal with that? Especially when you see something like Forbidden Droplet happen game one, mm. you don't expect any of those interruptions from the hand right now. Yeah, I don't think I would. So this game. I think Bruce is going to go kind of greedy, potentially go wide, especially when you see Forbidden Droplet rather Ready than Dark Balloon no more against yeah. a deck that's so okay. aggressive you can't really afford to not do the damage. Even though I don't, I think he needed to do the damage with the field that he was putting up. Yeah, and it looks like Bruce did just hard draw the Ricky for hire, so he's able to tribute the Hugin, dispel summon beat. Yeah, and he discarded a copy of Fossil Dig, which I imagine means he already has Rex in his hand. Yep, that is the only target Memphis. for mm -hmm. the dinosaurs in the yep. deck. And I do see it there. Oh, with the Rafal in hand as well. He's drawing a lot of no the Rex. Uh, so like one beat, Monster like for Rex. Hire. Yep, so he's going to okay. use Beat's effect, special summon a Monster for Hire from his hand. He's going to summon Rex. Beat's going to add a Monster for Hire, and Rex can add a For Hire <laughs> Speller Trap. I'm yeah, going to go ahead and grab Mayhem here to be able to potentially summon back one of those For Hire monsters from the graveyard. Yeah, usually they only play a couple of the for hire mm -hmm. spells, and that's usually one copy of each. And there is a drone lockbird from Nathan. I was wrong. There will be monster effects from the hand. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> that's a good one. At least he was able to add two cards to his hand before it happened. But oh, I see. He's going to be cut off from that using Runic Fountain this turn. That makes sense because it looks like the, it was a draw phase activation to summon the Hugin to search the Runic uh, Fountain. So not be able to use it now. Both those effects were chained to each other, I believe, so he should be able to resolve both of them. Yes, it triggers on the summon when he summons the Rex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, that's me. Okay. Oh, he so normal summoned the Rex. Yep. I thought he used the beat effect for sure. Oh, well, that's Absolutely. a slight Absolutely. punish yep. there then. Because uh, yeah, beat definitely has the effect that it can summon yeah. a monster for hire from your hand. Yeah, maybe he wanted to save that for later. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. Okay, good. They're Not continuing no, here. Okay? Yeah, Runic Fountain like, not going to be able to get that value, even though it, there is, aren't um, even any actual more Runic spells here. He was really looking forward to hit them from a Rafal. Okay. Yeah, I mean, choosing Bruce? to play a little, a little greedy here yep. might come back to bite Bruce. I mean, that's what we were talking about earlier, right? He didn't, knowing that this is the matchup he's playing against, he didn't expect any cards to come from his hand at this point. He thought he was going to be free to go, and Nathan was just going to try to deal with it after the fact. And there's the punish. Nope. Yeah, definitely awesome. So he's going to over these two into yeah. Mannequin Cat. So he's going to be able to use Mannequin Cat oh. to special summon a monster from Nathan's uh, graveyard to his side of the field. Control, right? And then uh, yeah, Mannequin Cat has the effect okay. when a monster is normal or special summoned to your opponent's side of the field, you can target a monster yeah. on their side of the field and, and special great, summon yeah. a monster from oh, your deck with the same attribute oh, as the monster. target. I'm so if he plays a win, oh, he'll be able to summon a win smart, from yeah, his deck. Okay. Uh, effective mannequin cat targeting your droll. Okay. Looks like he does. Summoning Dampa. Oh, Dampa. No, Dampa. Good enough. Free extender there. So now he's going to link away the mannequin cat and the beat. Looks like For Donner. Donner. Donner can potentially summon back as many monsters from the graveyard here. Can I read this real quick? You did it with dinosaur. Okay. Dinosaur 
Let's see how Bruce can navigate this turn, being locked down under Droll and Lockbird. Sorry, itself? Okay. I think he's not necessarily out of it. He just needs to be able to climb into the Sprite Engine, maybe set up something like Red, someone, someone? and that one interruption okay. might be good enough depending on how strong uh, Nathan's hand right. is. There's already uh, one card being used in Droll. There's uh, not a Stratos uh, necessarily in his hand because one is in uh, was banished from the top of the deck. I did see another copy of Droll and Lockbird in his hand. So if he doesn't have one of those uh, strong starters, mm. he might be yep. really vulnerable to a couple forms of interruption here. Yeah, Bruce, Bruce still yeah. trying to find a way to right get the Fogo. No, it's a special one from deck. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, he can't use the Excavate effect because of Droll and Lockbird. I think he wants to set up the fountain, maybe set up uh, a couple draws from the Someone Fogo on okay. the opponent's turn, being able to maybe trigger it to, uh, sorry, use its effect immediately, going after the Drone Lockbird, and then drawing into a Runic another. spell uh, from the three draws no. of Fogo okay. right at the start there. You can still activate the fountain this turn. Yes. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. But again, there is another copy of Drone Lockbird sitting <laughs> in Nathan's hand. As long as he uses it in the draw phase, that could be good enough. Fountain? Yeah. Set one. It looks like, yes, he's going to, the Raphael won't be able to negate. Draw for turn. Stand by me. Mm -hmm. I see. I see a fusion Big destiny. Things. All right. Well, that's you know that's uh, all the engine need. Uh, <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's and Morris. there's a Ferris. Okay, yeah. come on. Okay, and Ferris. is that a droplet too? He's gonna oh, discard Shadow, Shadow Mist. Mist. Okay, so he's gonna discard Shadow Mist to summon Ferris. Shadow Mist is gonna affect. Chain Rex, target beat. Chain Rex, target beat. Special, right? Mm -hmm. Beat and Dumpa are gonna okay. be able to. Uh, sorry, Beat and Rafala will be able to use their effect. Chain there's Mayhem, target Dumpa. Yeah, okay. so Dampa is going to hit the field first, and then the Rex is going to end the following chain, summon the beat. Oh, he's he's going to be able to trigger the Dampa. Yep. Summon. Chain link two, chain link He's trying to destroy a card for uh, Nathan Christmas so he can draw Dampa. with Fulgo. To the target. Mm -hmm. cool. uh, I'm going to go ahead and target your Ferris. Probably the Ferris, right? Forbidden Droplet. Activate Droplet. I'll activate Forbidden Droplet. Oh, you see the explanation here from Bruce. <laughs> it's kind of... Keeping his lips together, like, oh, you man. To him, right? yeah, when you're the hero, you have to have the tools you, you need. Oh, because he summoned then summoned Dampa. Okay. Um. It looks like he's going to be uh -oh. having to give up the Ferris here. Oh, man. I, need this? I wonder if you even had to give up the Ferris, because you could just go after the Dampa with the Droplet, and you didn't necessarily have to stop the others. Because if you stop the Dampa, you're not you getting see? any additional draws. The other card's being added uh, to the hand. Feel like, yeah, he wanted to go uh, after the Fulgo I mean, and Raphael. Uh, I guess Shadow at the very least, yeah, you just need to stop the Dump on the Rafal, and the other two cards don't matter, right? Because if there's not another destruction effect and there's no uh, draws uh, happening, increase. the other cards are essentially And then blanks. I'm getting Stratos off of Ness. And he gets to add Stratos. He hasn't normal summoned yet. Mm -hmm. Summon Bruce has no cards in hand, nothing to activate on the field. He's already used the Rex for hire from the graveyard. All he can do is yep. put his hands together. He's going to add uh, Liquid Soldier. Oh, he still has the Fusion mm -hmm. Destiny in his yes. hand as well. Activate. Mm -hmm. I, I think... This is looking good. I think there's going to be more than 8,000 points of damage in this turn. So let's see. So the increase is going to tribute special summon. Then he can uh, special summon a Vision Hero from his deck. Going to get Vision Hero Vion. Vion's going to be able to send a Destiny mm -hmm. Hero to the Great Red, and he's going to send Destiny Hero Malicious. Vanish to search for a poly. Yep. Yep. Vanishing the Ferris here. Add a poppy of polymerization. With the Vision Hero Vion's effect. Going to fuse Link. using. Oh, mm -hmm. start off Link. with linking in the extra crusader. Yep, here comes extra crusader. Or, or sorry, uh, cross. Uh, oh, no, oh, oh, oh. This is the one. This is the one that we never see. That I, <laughs> we were reading it before this started because I never have it come up. Infernal deceiver. Mm -hmm. so He's going to be else. able to reveal a fusion monster and add the materials from the deck to his hand. There's a copy of Elemental Hero uh, Neos going to his hand. Elemental Hero Neos. So now he's going to banish mm -hmm. Destiny Hero Malicious. This is the hero we need. A hero lives, Asala. A hero lives. A hero's never lived more. <laughs> oh, we're linking up. We're going even further. Wonder Driver. There's the Wonder Driver. Wonder Driver. Mm -hmm. A monster summon. He's going to able to I'll have a fusion polymer. spell back. Mm -hmm. For Liquid and Neos. Liquid and Neos. What is that going to make? Just Elm Elm Riser. Oh, oh my God. Uh, man, this is out of Battle of Legends. Monstrous uh, Revenge. Link, uh, two if it's special summon, you can add one card with it. favorite and its name from your deck to your <laughs> hand. You can tribute it. Or and, actually, and if it was summoned, if you do summon using a normal monster, target. which it was, you can special summon a level 7 or lower element monster yeah, from your deck target. or extra deck that target. cannot be normal summon or set, ignoring its summoning conditions. You should tag out into any fusion monster with that. Let's go. One of the coolest cards out of Battle of Legends, Monstrous Revenge. It was already going yeah, to be game with all the regular hero monsters that were already accessible prior to these releases, but we're doing this fancy. We're doing this with all the heroes possible. Okay, so 2-1. Yeah. 
because you already declared the activation, so I have to let this go through. Yeah, too Assuming long. that you have a target. Uh, right, thank you for being here. Yeah, I think I sighted it out. Oh, he thought he That's might have target. a target, but it doesn't look like he has a target for the effect. Can't do that. Yeah, probably something like Favorite Contact, mm -hmm. which is a trap card you don't usually want to have when you're going second. So you sometimes that forget that you take that card out of your deck. Yes. In the... What do you mean? What do you mean? Have you gotten one for doing this specific action? Oh, no. No, I'm good. Uh, I got in the warning, but not that. You have gotten one before, but not for this. Okay, yeah, not that. Uh, then, it, uh, then it's just a warning for right now, but if it happens again, it could be up. could potentially be up. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Judge clarifying the situation yeah. here. He didn't. He doesn't actually have a favorite card in his deck. He cited it out. He plays one copy of Favorite Contact, which is a cool trap. Forgot that he cited it out. Not a big deal here. Draw two, discard one. So the Liquid Soldier's effects can activate since it was used as a fusion material to draw two and discard a card. Looks like he's going to add a Rivalry of the Worlds and Destiny yeah. Denier, discarding the Denier. Um, Not bad. Still got a long ways to go here. Is he going to use the effect of Wonder Driver to be able to add back that polymerization or like any of the, really any Activate version of the fusion cards, right? Could even add back mass change. This is just crazy. So he's going to, I've never seen the Infernal Rage come out. It's, it's the Should coolest looking like off. Flame Wing Man to me. Sunrise? So he's going to summon Eldrio Sunrise. Sunrise, yep. sunrise on sunrise. summon. We'll be able to add a Miracle Fusion from the deck to the hand. Mm -hmm. It also increases the attack, I think, of one of your monsters when it battles. I know it has some other additional effect when you battle. I knew whenever I would play against heroes, I would try to get rid of that monster before entering the battle phase. It is definitely one of their key monsters. Yeah, like, I know I when an attack is declared like, involving another hero monster control, you can target one card in the field and destroy it. And it gains 200 attack for each attribute you control. That's right. Um, Very sneakily threatening card. <laughs> and he still has the fusion destiny uh, sitting in his hand with rivalry of warlords. Fusion Destiny, Miracle Fusion in oh, hand. Miracle Fusion. First, he's going to go with Miracle Fusion. How many Fusion cards are we going to use this turn? Liquid. I just want to see Bruce's face when the Fusion Neos. Destiny comes down. He's already seen yeah. this much. Oh, he used Neos again. Four, what? Zero. Absolute Ab zero? Actually, is, is this Time, time Wizard? Time. We're not in Time Wizard. We're in 2023 right now. Miracle Fusion for Element Hero. Absolute zero. He's going to use Wonder Driver to add back Miracle Fusion. I think he's going to do it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bruce is like, these cards are so good. This is really... Um. Let's go. I'll go ahead and link right here. Oh, linking with Absolute Ooh. Zero, destroying the entire field on this side. Go! Chain There's the Cross two, Crusader. One, zero. Let's two, go! Elventure Absolute Zero, since it left the field, is going to destroy every monster on Bruce's side of the field. Going back to Nair off Cross Crusader. And then Denier effect. Is it Denier back effect? This is back to Malicious so he can special summon another Malicious. He still uh, has the Fusion Destiny. When will it be over? I'll go ahead and activate Fusion Destiny. You <laughs> 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 like crowd erupts at seeing Fusion Destiny. The, the hero we need. And that's, yeah, it. that's enough. That's all we needed to see. Nathan Christmas wins with his hero deck. A true hero. Like Going on to yeah, top yeah, 32. Yeah. Only a mere few round wins away from stamping his ticket to Japan. That is incredible. What an awesome match. Going second in both games, which... To be honest, not a bad thing for heroes. They're pretty good at going second, especially when you have Forbidden Droplet Fusion Destiny. But wow, what a fantastic. He had Drone Lockbird. What a fantastic game. I really don't think he needed the Fusion Destiny in that one. The Drone Lockbird played all, did all the work. The Absolute Zero cleared the field already. He already had a bunch of monsters. The Fusion Destiny was really just icing on the cake. You can't even be mad at that. You can't even be mad, even though you know you just got eliminated your chance to go to the World Championship. You can't be mad, because like that was amazing. What an epic match. Congratulations to Nathan Christmas on an epic win. He's the hero we need, the hero we believe in. The hero we deserve. The hero we deserve. But we'll be right back to hear from Nathan Christmas about the match, so don't go anywhere. We'll see you soon. We are back with the winner of our Top 64 feature match with his hero strategy, Nathan Christmas. What made you bring hero to this event all the way, going into Top 32, only a few matches away from going to the World Championship? Explain everything that brought you to this moment. Well, it's actually my favorite deck. I like GX, but also my main goal in life is to be a true hero. I'm actually a cardiovascular ICU nurse. So I'm like, you know what? I, I gotta stay aligned with myself and just rep what I know. So, and that's being a hero. <laughs> That makes so much sense. We kept talking in the back there how I've known you've been playing Heroes for like at least 10 years. I've seen you do this kind of thing for so long. This has clearly been your favorite deck. I didn't know it was so close to how who you are as a person, but that makes sense. I've always known you to be one of the nicest guys. And it just really stands true. It really shows how much you're proud of being a hero and it, in your strategy as a hero player. 
What did you think about playing this deck beyond just as a part of yourself, but into the current metagame? What are your matchups here? Like, what are you really looking forward to playing against? Um, I don't really have anything. I think I have a pretty decent matchup against Vanquish Souls. So I, I played them in Swiss and I did pretty well against them. But other than that, I don't think there's anything I really want to play. I know I'm really scared of Rika. I had a close call against Rika. Um, but also, to be honest, I, I know it's a really high ceiling deck and a lot of people like to say LOL Nib, but I just wanted to show them like, if you perform at the highest level, which I think I'm doing pretty decent, that you can play past crazy stuff and, and prevail. Because I know you didn't see it there, but I had some pretty crazy Swiss rounds. And yeah, I'm just, I'm not, I believed in myself, but I was doubting myself at first, but I'm just glad I'm here. Absolutely, that's what we love to see, some confidence there. You know your strategy in and out. You know that there are ways that typically the deck loses. Maybe some players that are not as familiar with it will lose those cards more often, but you have found ways to get past your weaknesses. You know what your weaknesses are. You know like the strategies you're trying to avoid, maybe those Rika matchups. Like, you've managed to get this far, so clearly it's working out for you. How, do you think you're going to be able to go to the World Championship? Are you confident in going all the way this year? Honestly, I believe Team Hope. <laughs> That's exactly what you want to hear. You've had the confidence to make it this far. There is nothing else you want to see than believing that you can go all the way. You're only a few matches left. Congratulations, man. I look forward to seeing you in the remainder of this tournament. I am rooting for you. Billy, what do you have next for us?